So red hydrogen, what is it? Well, it's actually really genius. You see, some scientists from Japan have been hard at work furthering this technology. The process makes it possible to generate both nuclear-powered electricity as well as clean hydrogen from one plant without producing any carbon emissions. So let's start with the why. Well, the whole world is chasing a net zero carbon future in an effort to keep our planet inhabitable for many generations to come. And at the moment, it seems like the biggest push is in the form of electric vehicles. Now, EVs don't burn fossil fuels, which are good, but the electricity that they use does. As I said in this video, in 2020, the US produced most of its power by burning fossil fuels, with 61% of their total energy coming from fossil fuels, which ain't good for our planet. So you might drive an electric vehicle with no emissions, but producing that electricity does create emissions. And I'm not even going to go into the process of building these cars, as I'm sure you know how bad it is for the environment. But the point is, with the way we are going about it, we will not reach our goal of net zero by 2050. However, this innovative new process out of Japan may point to a possible solution to our future. Energy conundrum. It uses hydrogen, and not just any hydrogen, but what's known as red or pink hydrogen, which is produced through the use of nuclear energy. Now currently, Japan is the world leader in the production of nuclear energy, and they are making huge leaps in hydrogen production as well. The country also houses Toyota, the world leader in hydrogen vehicles, which produces both hydrogen fuel cells and hydrogen internal combustion engines. The Fukushima Hydrogen Energy Research Plant is also in Japan, and within it is the world's largest green hydrogen plant, although the hydrogen produced within this plant is quite expensive because it uses electrolysis. Now, we already know how great nuclear energy is. In fact, nuclear and hydrogen in that order are the most energy-dense sources of energy we use today. But you see, there is a problem with hydrogen. At the moment, there is two main ways of producing it. One is through electrolysis, which is very expensive and uses a lot of energy, but it's great for the environment. And then the second one is through natural gas reforming, which is way cheaper but it's quite bad for the environment. Well, that's all about to change, and that's where red or pink hydrogen comes in. It's a new, better way to produce said hydrogen. So how does red hydrogen work? Now to answer that, let's quickly go over how a normal nuclear reactor works. You see, nuclear reactors use fission energy from the breakup of heavy atoms like uranium or plutonium to generate heat. That heat is then used to boil water and generate steam which then turns turbines to generate electricity. Simple. Now, this process generates absolutely no carbon, which is also great. Now, for this reaction to happen, it needs a neutron to start, but it releases three other neutrons, which leads to a sustained chain reaction that produces heat and energy. Unfortunately, this form of a nuclear reaction is difficult to control, and heat must constantly be drained to avoid a meltdown. Now, most of our reactors on the planet are light water reactors that use liquid as a coolant to keep everything nice and under control. And that's where these new red hydrogen reactors differ. You see, this red hydrogen will be produced in a new type of reactor called a high temperature gas cooled reactor or a HDGR, which is what I will use to refer to it further in this video. Now, what's different about HDGR reactors is that they replace the water with helium gas as their coolant. Why? Well, helium can be heated to a much higher temperature than water. Plus, it's an inert gas, which means that it won't cause corrosion in any of the parts of the reactor. What does this mean? Well, where a normal nuclear reactor operates at around 300 degrees Celsius, these plants can operate at well over 900 degrees. This high temperature can be used to drive a gas turbine to generate electricity, like a normal plant. But while it does this, it could produce hydrogen through the thermal chemical decomposition of water in a clinical process involving iodine and sulfur dioxide. Now, Japanese scientists were the first in the world to couple an operational HDGR nuclear reactor to the thermochemical cycle called hydrogen production plant. A test reactor was actually operated as early as 2004 and it ran successfully for 50 days at full power. Now, after the Fukushima disaster, however, this experimental reactor was put on hold. But 10 years later, after passing all the safety standards, the reactor was restarted on the 30th of July 2021, and it has been operating at full power ever since. 
Now, in February 2022, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was commissioned to build Japan's biggest ever hydrogen production plant using this new HTGR system. And thanks to this system, this will be the first time large quantities of hydrogen will have been produced in a constant, reliable, economically feasible way without the risk of future meltdowns. This is amazing, making a future filled with hydrogen vehicles more viable. But it doesn't stop there, it goes deeper. Construction vehicles and long-haul trucks are also already being built that will use this fuel. Again, it goes even deeper. Toyota are building capsules that will be plugged into your house and then these capsules will run your whole home's electricity. This fuel can run like just about anything. But what do you think? Do you think this is a massive game changer like I do? What is your opinion on a future where we drive hydrogen powered cars instead of lithium battery powered cars? And if you want to talk about solid state batteries, I've got another video coming on that where I show the pros and the cons of solid state. Solid state is cool in theory, but yeah, I'll go deep into that in the next video. So if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see that video, stay tuned, it's coming soon. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.